What's going on guys, AC Photo back with you once again and we have another reaction video for you. Now this one is one I sought out on my own, no one sent it to me. I just wanted to do it because I'm a big fan of the creator and I'm a big fan of haunted st stuff. So anything horror related, hauntings, ghosts, cryptos, I love that stuff. And uh, Sir Spooks just put out a brand new 5 scary videos only brave people can watch. And we're going to watch it because we're brave, aren't we? I mean, kind of. If, if I scream, you'll hold my hand, right? Please? All right, fine. I'll hold my own hand. W what if you get scared? I don't know. You got a teddy bear or something? I mean, go go grab a pillow. I got I to gotta go grab a pillow. Is there anything around here I can hug? No? All right, fine. I guess we'll just, we'll just do this. Before we get started, be sure to go check out Sir Spooks and support his channel. The the guy really does upload some really awesome stuff. If, if you're a fan of, of ghosts and hauntings and, and uh, videos like that, either, you know, fake or not, if you're a fan of that kind of stuff, he's a really awesome channel to go check out. I highly recommend it. Go support him and, and subscribe and like and all that good stuff. Anyways, just wanted to say that before. Let, let's get back into the video. The hell? Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at five scary videos that only brave people can watch. So, let's begin. The no. How about no? The first video for today comes to us from the user Purgatory Stories, who shared the video to the Sir Spooks subreddit, where you can submit any paranormal footage for a chance to be featured on a future video like this one. Ooh. Filmed sometime this year at the Crybaby Tunnel in Ohio, the video sees a couple of people looking alarmed with their tensions raised as they point flashlights in various different directions, hoping to capture something on camera. It doesn't take too long for both the people in the video and us as viewers to notice what it was that caught these people's attention. Take a look. Alright. Close to it. Oh wow! Did you hear it? Wow! It's not mine. You heard it? Yes. Wow. Nope. Don't want it. Being outside a tunnel that late at night and hearing a sound that clear would undoubtedly be freaky. The men in the video seem both creeped out and amazed at the same time. Understandably so. Huh. You're close to it. Oh, wow. Did you hear it? You're close to it. Seeing as how the noise sounded a bit too clear, it is entirely possible that this was fake. But if it is real, it wouldn't be too much of a stretch either. After all, the place is called the Cry Baby Tunnel. This video may be proof that it's called that for a reason. All right, so listening to it on my headphones, I'm not sure if you guys are listening to this on speakers or with headphones or not, but if you watch the original video and listen really closely, it almost sounds like a farm animal. Like it could be a goat. Um, or I'm trying to think whether, what other animals sound like that. But it didn't... Yeah, it did sound human. But I doubt... I doubt that was real. Again, one, way too crisp and clear. And that could have come from anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, who's to say there wasn't a couple out with a baby? But then again, the baby would have kept crying. It wouldn't have just been that short sound. But they might have faked it themselves. I'm not sure. I don't understand why ghost hunting people do that in the first place. It's like, oh, look, we found something. Yeah, but don't you want to be credible? And find actual evidence and not just fake everything to get views. That's that's just my opinion. Um, so I'm going to guess they didn't know what it was. And I'm going to guess it was something that wasn't paranormal. That's just my opinion. You guys, let me know down in the comments below. 
Let's get to number four. A Reddit user named Crazy Chris 22 published this video over on the aforementioned Sir Spook subreddit. Even though the video is only 35 seconds in length, it is definitely short but sweet. At the beginning of the clip, Chris is sitting in his room pointing his camera at his bedroom door when he suddenly asks out loud if there's anyone in here to open that door. As you can probably no. expect, Don't this ask that. something quite interesting but equally creepy to happen. Take a look. Sitting on my bed. Watch this. If there's anyone in here, open that door. No thanks. If there's anyone in this room. Why did you point the camera down? Open that door. No. Huh? No. They're harder than that. Sure enough, it only takes a few seconds for the bedroom door to slowly start to open, seemingly all by itself. Then, Chris repeats the exact same phrase, and it seems as though the spirit in his house heard his command loud and clear. I'm sitting on my bed. Watch this. If there's anyone in here, open that door. They're harder than that. This definitely seems like something that could happen, as it is not overly crazy, but merely a ghostly presence opening the man's door. Oh, a uh, gust of wind? No. It, 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 it happened too much on command, number one. Number two, if it was a gust of wind, it would have probably been a lot more erratic. Like, it would have slammed the door shut, as opposed to just, uh, uh. Where is the breeze going to come in, really? If anything, it would come in through, you know, behind him, hit inside of the door, and probably swing the thing open really quick. But I, I, I don't think that's the... doesn't seem like it's the wind. Um, I will say this, you can't see down here at the bottom of, his, uh, of the door. You can't see the bottom of it. So he could have just been screwing around. And the fact that he turned the camera on, he's like, oh, guys, watch this. Now, maybe it happened a little bit, and he wanted to see if it would happen again. Maybe not. I I'm not sure. Um, again, we can kind of just put that in the maybe category. But, yeah, that, that, that stuff, I would not want to see that. No, no. I'm good. Definitely seems quite genuine. What do you think? Is this real, or is it just a hoax? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. On the Sir Spook subreddit, a user by the name of Edward oh. Swissascare shared a video from the popular social media service TikTok, which seems to display some fairly unsettling content. The video was created by the TikTok user Holly Armstrong20. It's <clears throat> usually an app filled with funny and entertaining videos but this one is much darker in nature. Take a look at the video that this TikTok user filmed. See what they captured on camera. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my This video is pretty hard to explain. Dolls are typically considered to be innocent toys that millions of children all around the world like to play with to have a friend. So the fact that this particular doll is moving all by itself raises... Five seconds before I jetted out of this house and threw a match behind me. See, that, that caption makes me think something isn't right. The way the doll's legs are moving, if you look at it, all right. This TikTok video. It's very. The of thing. It's very. Uh, it's very un. I don't want to say unnatural. 
But it's either like they're moving how they're supposed to move, that maybe this dial, and I'm trying to see, if I can see what kind of dial it is, I can look it up, but it almost looks like it's wearing clogs. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm just telling you what I see. It almost looks like it's wearing clogs. Um... And maybe it's a doll from a different country, and <clears throat> um, they wear clogs in Holland, I believe. I, I don't think that's the only place they wear them, but that's one of the places that's really known for it. But this could be a doll from a foreign country that does that as a animation. And that's really what it looks like to me. It doesn't look like this doll... Uh, is, is haunted or possessed. The times that I've seen a doll move and there was nothing moving it and it seemed legit possessed by something, it didn't look like this. This just looks very... But we can only hope that the original upload of this TikTok video got to the bottom of it, things. Moving back and, and forth, both feet at the same ball. time and then one foot's oh kicking God, and then it comes fine. up. Like I said, it seems like it's moving the way it was intended to move. So th that's what I think on, on that one. Humanoid Encounters is a popular subreddit that many people use to either share or watch right, videos two. relating to various different creatures, such as the elusive Bigfoot, aliens, etc. One user in particular named Bird Beakman shared a video to the subreddit that is sure to Sorry. chill your bones. The uploader describes that the video was filmed on his uncle's security camera outside of his house in West Virginia. He goes on to say that his uncle lives quite far off of the main road, <clears throat> meaning that there aren't too many people around the area. Whoa. Which makes the following clip all the more terrifying if it is indeed real. Take a look at the chilling video. The hell was that? Bird Beacon Man says that the video left both him and his uncle extremely frightened, which is definitely understandable. Seeing as how the uploader's uncle lives far off of any main road, it wouldn't make sense for there to be people wandering around that area late at night and right. in front of his house of all places. That's a big bag of nope. This could very well be either a mysterious figure or some sort of shadow person captured on camera. There has never been a follow-up video to this one published online. So one can only hope that the uploader and his uncle figured out what was lurking around outside his home that day. Nope. What do you think this was? Was this footage of a ghost or shadow person? Or was this simply a person cloaked by the shadows of the night leave all of your thoughts in okay. the comments below okay no it was first off can i first off it's transparent oh i didn't mean to go that far lotus uncle lives far off of any main road it wouldn't make sense for there to be people wandering Okay, so I want to get another look at it. Yeah, look at it. It's transparent. You can see right through it. Now, I've had a theory with some of these videos and, I, and I'm not entirely sure how it, how it works but if you have okay so for those of us who had VHS tapes when we were kids or when, we, when you're younger and you record a TV show on the television and then you record another show on top of that one it's I almost wonder because it's all stationary you know, the camera's in one spot, it's not moving. The property, because it's nature, 
isn't moving. I wonder if somehow this happened uh, like it was someone playing out in the yard, like you know, the his his nephew or an animal or something like that. And they did this motion and then they didn't get to see it until later when it was recorded over or it skipped and therefore you get this result which is the uh, shadowy figure transparent outline that was an idea I had when it comes to these types of videos I, I don't know if that's possible if anyone else knows comments below let me know I, I, I don't know but this this looks pretty legit and if I saw that I, I yeah get the gun Get the gun, get the get the sage, get the crystals, get the everything. Both barrels, man. I don't hold oh jeez. No, I wouldn't want that on my lawn. No, thank you. Um So so far, I mean, you know, so far pretty pretty good. Let's let's see what we got for this last one. We got number one coming up. Mobile Officer Spook subreddit user Nando Perez uploaded a video of an extremely bizarre Zoom class call. Zoom is a place for millions of people to hold meetings with colleagues. Teachers can teach their students there and many more. Okay. Capturing creepy events is typically not something people do on the app, with the exception of this video. Take a look at the creepy footage. Soy solo, estoy con mi perro de cualquier materia. Es decir, eh, si nosotros estamos... Oh, no, no, fuck that. Eh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Relacionado con lo que dice Raúl. No, el gato de no, los... so much no. No, 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 it appears as though the ghostly face peering in at the man from the start captured his attention because he eventually tilts his camera in the exact same spot where the figure was just moments earlier. Okay, okay, just that's why he did it. Okay. There is nobody there and starts uh, to resume his call. The figure can be seen again crawling on the floor and oh, moving around for a few seconds, oh, disappearing oh, and reappearing numerous times. No, 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 no. no. Now, it is very grudge or the ring like. Oh, jeez, but still, that's, that's just creepy as shit. They, this could have been faked very easily. But, oh, God. No. Be gone, evil demon. It is entirely possible that this could be a home intruder lurking around his house. Okay, I don't but know about that. It could also be that of a ghost or some sort of entity. Regardless of whether or not this figure is a person or a spirit, this is certainly something that you would not want to see roaming around your house. No. Do you think no. that this is a person I don't. or a ghost? Is this even a real video or is it all fake? Be sure to tell me your opinion in the comments. And that was five scary videos that only brave people can watch. All right, so I have to say um, that last one, jeez, the last two actually were probably some of the most plausible. However, I will say this with the second one, I don't know when that video was filmed. So I don't know if he was talking to a friend. I don't know if it was filmed during uh, the lockdowns and he was uh, in class or something like that. Because I could totally see me being a teenager or you know even in college and having to do classes online. I would be thinking of random stuff that I can put in the background of my camera or phone to, to, to just stir up crap just because I was bored and because I wanted to think it was funny or I, I you know I would think it was funny I'm a big fan of Andy Kaufman and he did stuff like that all the time that would totally be something that I would do but I don't know it, um, 
I don't know when it, you know, I don't know the context behind the video. So I have to just um, keep that away from me is all I have to say. Um, but yeah, that's that's gonna do it for today. Remember to go check out Sir Spooks and his YouTube channel. Also, while you're here, you might as well hit subscribe right now, hit the like button, leave a comment, and uh, let me know what else you guys want to see as far as reaction videos go. If you have a video to send me, please do so. Uh, my stuff is always on the title card at the end of the video. And yeah, that's going to do it for today. So until next time, guys, I will see you later.